Streetcar Life episode three. Boom. Xylene. What's up guys, I just showed up today. One out of three, I don't know where the other two are, but it's pretty cool to S gear gauge, which I know is one of the lower end gauges, but you know, we'll see what, what happens. I have pro sports in my car right now, um, and they're a little bit better than nothing. Um, I've been having a lot of problems with them, but I don't know, hopefully these S gear ones come out pretty good. All right, this time, this is, this is gonna get a little messy. So I gotta take this sensor out, and I gotta take, there's an oil sensor, there's two of them down there that I gotta take out. Uh, and then I gotta put the new ones in and whatever, but stuff is gonna leak, I don't like it when stuff leaks. I gotta clean my engine bay anyway. All right, I'm gonna get started on this. All right, I got my new, Coolant temperature sensor, and you can't really see my uh, oil pressure one anymore, but I got it hooked up, it's right here. Um, the oil pressure uh, sending unit from the S-Gear gauges, it looked pretty much exactly like this, but it was gold. Um, I would've just left this on, but this sensor was going bad anyway, I think. Um, and uh, I wasn't sure if it was exactly the same, so I just went ahead and put the S-Gear one on. All I need to do now is send these wires in through the firewall, which I send all my extra wires in through right here. So I'm just going to do that, and then uh, all I have to do is plug the gauges up to power. Change the oil. Caught you in the act. Oh, oh, we we can record this. Oh yeah, how to change the oil in a new Subaru BRZ. This is your first oil change, isn't it? Uh, on this car, yeah. I mean like you in this car, first oil change. Oh, yeah. oh boy. This is, what, what overflow, where's the thing? What thing? This is about overflow. Balls. <laughs> Alright, let's give that a second. Yeah. Uh, I think it might just be full of oil. Because I'm pretty sure there's oil in there just to begin with. <laughs> Sinking. Whew, that was close. Man. <laughs> I was like, this is about to get really bad. I guess it's just like oil change day. Maybe I change my oil too. I, do it. I just did it though. Then there's no need. Got <laughs> oil all up in my hair. Oh, you could save a lot on, on hair products. <laughs>
We're over here at Burger King trying to get some burgers. Meanwhile, the BRZ. Do it. 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 Uh, lower it down again. We're gonna have to go get you some oil. Luckily, the <laughs> zone is right there. Literally, yeah. Over there. All right, uh, let's go get some oil so we could we could at least turn the car on and see what it does. Who went and got his stuff? Uh, Upgrade. Nice sporty cannon filter thing. Damn, dude. Oh, Better dude, fix this dude. before. Before we get like rained on. Dude. Hold on. Dude, you gotta hurry up, dude. We can see it now. You can see it. Oh, oh yeah. Fucking seal. Yeah, that's that's the seal right there for the oil filter. Dude. Yeah. Well, that explains dude. that. Good. Dude, no. dude I don't up, think dude. I don't think you want this one, dude. Uh, Use it? those forearms, bro. Get extra of those. This man been working out for a year. <laughs> Two years. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. I was like, come on, bro, stop playing. It literally just popped off the freaking. Both of them came. Oh, that's what happened. The old one from the old filter was stuck, was to, it. stuck to it. Yeah. At least you know you got a KN filter. No, the blue STP match the match to my my, my nice Yeah, but now when you blue. now every time you walk in your open your hood you're gonna be like cannon in my face. Can you open that up real quick? Make sure yeah. there's not two seals on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd get more than that. Use that stuff. <laughs> get some on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's everywhere. <laughs> Pick a spot. Right here. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good little pool right here. <laughs> you see? Yeah, like a pool. <laughs> as long as it's all over like this, it's really like impossible to like clean when I got it down. Well, the cool thing is, now all you have to do is like polish up these stuff and then the extra will just heat up and burn off and his engine bay will look super clean. That's what I was thinking. I was like, can you just let it keep running and burn it off? Make sure that K&N is pointing in the front. Otherwise, it was pointless to get that filter. You know, twist the cap so hard, this shit gonna pop off. That should be straight. Boom, k It actually looks awesome. My poor engine. Looks like I might have to get that STI motor earlier. <laughs> Nah, I think it'll be fine. You caught it like right. Luckily, it happened right when we got here. Literally, at the light. Like, yeah. It's when it decided. Ooh, Ooh Firebird. Alright, cool. Gotta dump all this oil in. Oil her up, Billy. Dude, you better be careful pointing it in, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. There you go, he got it. He was literally missing I mean, this shit. Like you said, there's oil everywhere anyway. <laughs> hey, Jay, someone needs to go stand over there. The masses. I thought you had a filter already. Dude, dude, you missed like a whole court. <laughs> He's about to cut his damn hand off. I'm trying to cut this piece of wood right here. <sighs> so we're here. Me and this guy, Christian Gudiel, who just shipped himself in from Maryland. We're going to take this car to Maryland tomorrow, which is like 14, 15 hour trip. So, I need to make sure everything's cool. Everything is cool, except for my ball joints, which a friend gave me for quick turnover. So I gotta put these in. Oh, dude, I forgot. Man, I forgot how to put grease in here. Crapola.
Mm. Gonna have to figure something out. I need to put a, I need a grease gun. There are two days of the week. Squeeze away. I don't know what's done. Alright, so we're gonna do. You have two of everything? Are you gonna try to leave the shock on? I think it'd be easier with the shock on. still have this original cover. What cover? Come down here. Why are you being so weird? Come down here. What are you looking for? Uh, ow. This. What about it? This is an OEM cover. So it's the one on the other piece. On the new one. I don't have that piece. You're supposed to have that. I think we might have to take the shock and just see if we have enough room. We can literally move this to the hammer, like you said. Yeah. But the thing is, all you can do is just unbolt these two and then just push this back and that's it. Yeah. That should be fine, though, I think. Yeah, we don't have to actually go the extra mile. But like, literally just moving this will open up a, a open up room to hammer this up. Yeah. And that's... Just put a jack stand underneath the, uh, the hub right here. Mm -hmm. just hammer it. Cool, let's do it. Uh <laughs> parking lot of Home Depot trying to fit the silencer that I forgot to put on last night. It's not actually a silencer, it's a muffler tip that fits inside my muffler tip. And then we'll be off. I wasn't recording the whole time. here I'll just show you guys since I wasn't recording last time silencer is in everything's good we are off to the land of Mary Mary Jane all right Billy Jane oh that's all I wanted to get a camera mount that's like oh that'd be sick yeah. GoPro Billy Jane is not my robber she just can't wait to wash my hands at the next stop. I am a woman. <laughs> 
Ouch. In like Nashville? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> you pretty much just said it. I can't wait to wash my hands in like four hours. Okay. I will find the auxiliary code. Auxiliary that's code. So cool. How you like that? Isn't that what it's from the Maxima? It is from the Maxima. Alright, Christian. Here's the aux cord. Just don't light my car on fire. Did you see the meme where the guy plugged in his headphones to his house and he said, I'm listening to the house? Stopped at this super fancy Mexican place called Abuelos. Abuelos is backwards. What do you think, Christian? How's your wife? Caroline. Oh my gosh, Caroline. Ooh. Christian met his wife. Caroline. Man, I'm so dark, can't even see my face in here. Or can you? Here, Christian. Full interview, full interview. So, how was it the day you met when you met your wife, sir? No. <laughs> no. Alright, back to the road. Back. Back on the road. Okay. Let's go. Put some gas in the car, which is looking like it was $17.92. We're gonna start driving again. And Kirsten gets to take over in an hour. It's cold, y'all. I just went to sleep. But uh, I'm in my parents' yard, Christmas time. There's Taylor's car. And there's my car. She made it. Safe and sound. This is how cold it is over here, folks. It's frosty. I haven't seen frost in a long time. I'm not saying it's like always sunny in, in Memphis, but I'm just saying when I left it was 70 degrees, so. Oh, I'm going to go inside and finish my breakfast. I will see you all next time on Streetcar Life with Project Garage. Remember, if you want any ISR performance parts, just let me know. Shoot an email to info at projectgarage.net. Thank you guys. See ya.